Hey everyone, and have you ever gotten, wow, I could really use a super generic Mario game to play right about now. I think I might have found us a winner here. Super Mario 3D World is the main Mario game for the Nintendo Wii U. Now, with the title Mario 3D World, you'd expect it to be a 3D game such as other 3D Mario games like Sunshine 64. And if you guessed that, you wouldn't be fully wrong. Mario 3D World is actually based on the 3DS title Mario 3D Land, which is a bit odd seeing that it is a 2D 3D hybrid game. But either way, the game was released in 2013 to a mixed reaction. You have weirdos like me who love the game, you have the people who despise it because it wasn't Mario Galaxy 3, and then you have the general population who all collectively went at once. What's a Wii U? Anyway, getting into the game, we click start and we get to choose what character we want to play as. And all the same playable characters return from Super Mario Bros. 2 on the NES. We have Mario, who's the most balanced character. We have Luigi, who has a good jump but bad traction. We have Peach, who can hover. And we have Toad, who can run fast but jumps really, really bad. Then, after picking our character, we are presented with an opening cutscene showing Mario and the gang hanging out and they find a Sprixy princess, and then Bowser comes along and bam, abduction. And then, we finally get to play some stages. And speaking of stages, let's talk about those. The stages in Mario 3D World are set up a bit differently compared to a lot of other 3D Mario games. Instead of having a handful of large areas to complete missions in, such as in 64, we have a bunch of individual stages to go through very similar to the 2D Mario games. Which, in some instances, is a good thing, but for it being a 3D Mario game, it isn't what a lot of people wanted, and even when the game tries to have a more open area like the other 3D Mario games, you can tell the game doesn't like doing it because it has some serious pop-in issues. But instead of different worlds in Mario 3D World, we have a bunch of different themes, just like in 2D Mario games. But hey, if you don't like those stages, there are always Captain Toad stages where you have to collect all the stars without jumping. But anyway, let's start talking about some other things this game has to offer. Now if you want to spice up your life, Mario 3D World has some good old power-ups to make you totally not lame. We have our good old Mushroom and Fire Flower returning from a bunch of different Mario games, and also the Mega Mushroom makes an appearance, and it's as useful as it is in any other game it's in, meaning it appears in like three levels. But we also have some new power-ups, like the Cat Bell and the Double Cherry. Now the Double Cherry makes you have a clone that is extraordinarily awkward to control, and then the Cat Bell turns Mario into a cat. What? Yeah, this one's weird. Now, the abilities of the cat suit are cool because, please, who doesn't want to climb up walls? But, man, it's weird to see Mario in a cat suit, and also the fact that Mario meows when he finishes a level with the power-up just makes me want to look up every synonym for the word wrong. Anyway, let's talk about the collectibles. There are two in this game being stamps and green stars. The green stars help you get to some parts of the map, like the castles at the end of all the worlds, which makes it a weird, optional, yet required collectible. And then we have the stamps, which you can collect in the stages and use on everyone's favorite social platform of Miiverse. Never mind, the stamps were stupid anyway. So Mario 3D World's a fun game, but sadly the game will be forgotten as many Wii U games were because please, what other systems could it come out on? Oh yeah. Now back in September of 2020, alongside the announcement of Mario 3D All-Stars, we got the announcement of Mario 3D World coming to the Nintendo Switch. And seeing that it comes out in early 2021, this video is being made in late 2020, I can't review it. So yeah. And that was Mario 3D World. A fun game that's thankfully going to be remembered due to the Nintendo Switch. 
Though, riddle me this, Nintendo. How come when Mario runs around and murders things in a cat suit, he gets nothing but praise, but when I do it, I get arrested for war crimes? Thank you.